Okay, this one's gonna be a lot of fun. We have some new chords we're learning, some bar chords. Um, we're using our C, C shapes that we have grown accustomed to. So we're gonna play C, A minor, F, and G. I hope so. Um, if not, brief reminder. Pointing finger B string, first fret, and middle finger on the D string. Second fret, ring finger on the A string. Third fret, so that's our C chord. Sometimes in the song we'll have a C over E, which instead of playing just the bottom five, you play the that top E string with it. Um, your A minor is pretty much the same thing as what you just did for C, except your ring finger is on the G string. Second fret. F chord, remember top finger is holding down the B and the E string. First fret. Middle finger on the G string, second fret, ring finger on the D string, third fret. G chord, pointer finger on the B string, second fret, middle finger on the E string, third fret, ring finger on that bottom E string. And that's the, the beginning part of the song is using those chords. We'll go over some of the other chords a little later, um, but it starts out with that F chord. So F, A, minor, and G. Two, three, four. So I do da, 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 da. So I'm kind of muting. After each one, you. Yeah. So I use the meat in my hand just like if I was doing a palm mute. Except I bring it all the way down. So all together full speed. And if you don't feel like muting right now, it's fine. You can just just that strumming pattern too. That's your intro, that's your verse. Uh, that's much of it. And the pre-chorus, A minor, G. I'm just doing down strums. D minor, which is pointer finger on the bottom E string, first fret, middle finger on the G string, second fret, ring finger on that B string, third fret. And we play from the D string down. So last line, you go that D minor into F. So G A minor and then F and C over E are chorus chords. Da, da, da. F da, da, da. C over E. Seven. A minor, A minor seven. Subtle difference. I don't remember exactly what the chord chart called for, but you can play it. And it won't hurt anything. Um, so we got G, and then you're back to your verse. So the key is really getting that pattern down. Dun, 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 dun. And then after that, it's getting that. D minor. Then your chords progress. So I just kind of do like a simplified version is just down, up, down, down, up, down. Right. You do down, up on one chord, and when you change the next chord, you go back down. I like to keep that rhythm going. That way it's not super choppy. It's not like, you know, you keep it like. So really my hand's doing that, that rhythm right there, the whole time. Ooh, that's a nice chord. 
<laughs> so. So be keeping rhythm a little bit with your hand. Even when you're not playing the chord. G minor F. And then the fun part, which is the bridge. I put some bar chords in here because it's, it's the best way I, I know how to do it with the C shapes we're using. So let's play A minor with these three fingers. Middle finger. Second, I'm sorry, first fret of the B string, ring finger, D string, second fret, pinky, G string, second fret. Now slide that up one, two, three frets, and bar off the third fret. And play from the A string down. And that's your C minor. Sorry. Yes, that is your C minor. And then we'll take that same shape and slide it up one, two, three frets. And you pick up your middle finger. So it goes from the C minor to E flat major. And then your B, I'm sorry, then your F that we did earlier. This is probably this is the hardest part of the song. Especially for me getting those get my fingers in there. On the excuse me, on the F E flat chord. So the string pass. So the band's going dun 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 dun. So what I do there is So the key, what my right hand is actually doing is that down and up. But what makes the rhythm come out, the there is um I'm actually not pushing down when I'm doing the when I'm doing just the, the melodic kind of chucking I'm not pushing down with my right my left hand only when I want it, the notes to sound out so So that part, that part will take some work. <laughs> it would take a little work for me if I had to play that. Just really getting that, locking that in. Um, yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. But you use anchor, your fingers as anchors, you know, certain spots. For example, my ring finger can slide up here to the, I guess, one. So it's starting here, so you're playing your F chord. It's on the third fret. It could slide up two frets and be what anchors you after you're going from here, you're going up to here. Let that anchor you, and then do the same thing. Slide everything up for that E flat chord. Your ring finger staying on the same string the whole time. So let it be kind of your little anchor keeps your fingers in a line. C minor, E flat. So there's like a little space in between, right? Where your middle finger would be. And if if the bar chord's kind of hard, sometimes I'll, I'll use my middle finger. If I'm playing something like this, you can use my middle finger to push against my, against my pointer a little bit to make it a little better. Yeah, that one, that's the hardest part of that song. Uh, once you get back to the 
the C minor. You're just back to your chorus. And it's simple from there. Your last, you do the G, A, F, and then you trash can on the F. Like that. Yeah, and that's how you play Let Praise Awaken. Um, like, like I said, that, that one part, the little bridge part, might take a little work to get done. Um, but you'll feel cool when you get the bar chords down. Bar chords. Once you can play bar chords, you're like, hey, check this out. You know. So work on it. Have fun. Um, enjoy the challenge of it.